depending on where you are, this unprecedented storm dropped from 10 to 29 inches of rain across the mountains, causing life-threatening floods and landslides. Unfortunately, 11 people in our state have died as a result of this storm, and tragically, we know there will be more. Our prayers and condolences go out to those families in this terrible time. Even as the rain and the winds have subsided, the challenge for people there increases. People are desperate for help, and we are pushing to get it to them, a massive effort. Many people are cut off because roads are impassable. They don't have power or communications. Please know that we are sending resources and coordinating closely with local governments, first responders, state and federal partners, and volunteer organizations to help those impacted by this tragic storm. Because it's so difficult to get trucks in by land, yesterday we began airlifting supplies, including food and water into the region. A number of mass feeding sites have been open. Water, food, and other supplies are coming into Asheville, and they're also being airlifted from there to surrounding counties. I want to remind all North Carolinians that conditions on the ground remain extremely dangerous, even as flooding has, has continued, and, and it will continue to recede. Roadways are damaged. There are downed power lines and unstable ground. There are still many rain-swollen rivers across the mountains, and it may take some time for the flooding to fully dissipate. We ask people not to venture into storm-affected areas, whether to check on property, loved ones, or just to sightsee. Besides endangering yourself, you could also be interfering with emergency responders or repair crews. I'm Polly Case with Casual Citizen Hatch. Yes, ma'am. And just um, hoping you could tell me a little bit about why you're here and what the state is doing to help public folks. Well, well, we we immediately came to the conclusion that more needed to be done from the state level. Mm -hmm. uh, from my office, I don't really have the power that the governor has. Uh, but I can go ahead and tell you right now, I'm urging the governor right now to get more help up here to these folks. We need more National Guardsmen. We need more resources in this state, uh, up here in this part of the state. We just left Buncombe County, and the situation in Buncombe County, is, I mean, it's dire over there. We got a, what we heard over there was, was very heartbreaking and very uh, distressing. They're, those folks need help desperately. They need food. They need water. Uh, they need help uh, searching for bodies. They need it all. Uh, so I'm urging the governor to, to not wait on the federal government. We don't need to wait on the federal government. That takes five days. The folks that are up here right now, they don't have five days. They need it right now. There are folks out there that are stranded with no food, no water, no resources. We have the capability in this state right now to bring those resources to those people. My team and I, we're working on that out of my out of my office. We have folks that are working on being able to deliver those resources, and uh, we need to continue to do, do that because this is the storm of a, this is this is an epic proportion, folks. I've never seen anything like this in this state. We really need to bring everything to bear, and we need all hands on deck. We need to put politics aside. <laughs> And we need to focus on being North Carolinians and human beings and get done what we need to get done for the people of Western North Carolina. And that's what we intend to do. Thank you. All that kind of stuff, we're going to, trust me, we're, we're going to be looking with everything, medical, food, you name it, we're looking at that's those options. You got it. Yes. Uh, no, we just uh, felt the need to, you know, to come out here and see what we could do. And uh, we were, we're glad that we came. We went to uh, McDowell County first. And we dropped off some supplies. I even bought my own personal truck. And we bought water, we bought cleaning supplies. But then when we went over to Buncombe County, we heard some things over there to let us know it's really bad over there. The Swannanoa area is really bad. They need help right now. So we're organizing not only with sheriffs, but with some private individuals who have helicopters, who have trucks. And they're bringing, they're, they're bring, they sure did. And we're, we're, we're working on that now. We are bringing stuff right now. We do not want to wait. Well, you know, we, we're veterans, man. We do. We, we with the country. We, have, we with the country. We have uh, some helicopters that we're bringing in and the sheriffs that we were talking to, emergency, emergency management people that we were talking to. I know exact who he is, plan sir. that we I were talking about is, is, is places where we can't land and we can airdrop in.